Hey y'all, today I'm gonna go over my weeknight spaghetti recipe. It's exactly what it sounds like. Spaghetti with a from scratch sauce comes together in about 15 minutes. So I start by doing something I do pretty much every time I use ground beef. So this is about a pound and a half of 93% lean ground beef. I always smash it as if you would like a burger. I press it down into the surface of the pan and I spread it out and then I just walk away and leave it alone. I do this so that the side that's against the pan is gonna char. I do this for tacos, I do it for meat sauce. It really just adds an extra layer of flavor to whatever you're making that can't really be replicated. So after it has seared on that one side, I do add a couple pinches of salt. I go ahead and break it up into small pieces as I am flipping it over. Once it's mostly flipped over, and you can see the browning that was on that opposite side, I switch to stirring, and then I do it like you would normally work with ground beef. Break it up and stir it until there is no more pink remaining in the pan. And then it is time to build the sauce. So I'm gonna add a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, a 14 and a half ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes, and then I'm gonna take about a cup and a half of water, and I'm gonna slosh it around in both of those cans, and then add the water to the pan. I'm gonna slosh it around so you don't waste any of that like tomato puree that was stuck to the cans. And then it's time to add the seasonings. So we didn't chop up or saute any aromatics, like no garlic, no onion. So we're using pretty hefty amounts of onion powder and garlic powder. Also a bay leaf, some ground oregano, dried oregano, dried parsley, um, some Italian seasonings, some cracked black pepper, and then of course as much kosher salt as you think it needs. Also some balsamic vinegar and some crushed red pepper flakes. You can add them all in at once. I like to add stuff and then stir it and then add more. It makes me feel like I'm doing something, but it's really not necessary. My recipe calls for light brown sugar. You can use regular sugar if you want. I just think brown sugar melts a lot better with these flavors than regular sugar does. It's not enough to make the recipe sweet. You're really only using enough to kind of cut back on the bitterness or the acidity or the tanginess that you may have from the tomatoes. If your tomatoes are like super sweet or if you just don't think that the sauce needs it, you can leave that sugar out. You can see that I actually added a little bit more than my recipe calls for because yeah, it was too bitter. I'm not, I wasn't into that. Um, so yeah, if you add too much sugar, then it will be sweet. I don't want to call it too much. You may like really sweet pasta sauce, so you do you. But after you're happy with the flavor, you've adjusted it for salt and sugar, you're going to just cover it and simmer it. Let it simmer undisturbed. Reduce the heat to medium low. You've been on medium high this entire time. I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't mention that. Um, but cover and let it simmer while you make your noodles. Make your spaghetti noodles according to the pasta, like the box directions. If the box doesn't say to salt your water though, then you need to salt your water. Um, but after your spaghetti is made, you're done. It's just a matter of mixing everything together and serving it. And that's why it's, I could say it's a 15 minute recipe, but I chose to just say that it's ready in under half an hour in case like maybe you move a little slower, you stir a little slower and that's okay. Um, but when the pasta is done, you drain it, add it back to the pot you cooked it in, and then ladle in about half of the spaghetti sauce because that, that argument about whether your sauce should be mixed into the pasta or served on top, both sides are as right as they are wrong. The answer is actually both. So mix half of it in there, half of it up in there, and then after you ladle it into the bowls for the individual servings, you're gonna ladle a little bit more sauce on top. And then you'll finish with aged parmesan and you're done. And I'm just going to let the rest of this video play out in silence. Thank you for watching it. I hope that if you try this recipe, you will visit deepfriedhoney.com and leave a rating, maybe a comment. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Spaghetti. We serve as sauce.